It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you, and welcome to the Science Bowl. Today, two outstanding elementary schools here to play our game. Let's meet them right now. First, from Carroll Highlands Elementary, would you say hello to Rahan Chaudhry, Lorenzo Cruz, and David Romero. And from Magnolia Elementary, here they are, Obena Ufamadu, Balao Mabadan, and Elan Reed. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on the Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to question difficulty with the easier questions on the left, worth five and 10, tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest question of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points, no penalties ever for incorrect answers. At the end of the two rounds today, one of these two good-looking teams will come back to play our game again and perhaps advance to the semi-final elimination round. Let's go over and make sure everything works properly. Let's go to Carol Highlands. Lorenzo, would you try your buzzer for me? Thank you. Looks good. Sounds good. Good luck to you, to David, and to Rehan. And Bilal, would you try the magnolia buzzer? It too looks and sounds good. Good luck to you, to Elon and Obina. All right, guys, are ready to do this? Let's have a good game. May the better team win. We go alphabetically C before M. So Carol Highlands and Lorenzo, let's play the bowl. Green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. Team's a multiple choice question for you. In the new movie Interstellar, most of the world's crops are affected by a fungus that is known as a blight, a blotch, or a barnacle. Magnolia. I would like to pass on to Elan. A blight. A blight. Yes, indeed. Not a blotch or a barnacle. Good answer. Go green. Zoo parade for 25. Zoo parade for 25. The big one in that category. Teams, compared to dogs, cats are closer to their wild relatives. And while they're not feral, you would say that cats are only semi what? <laughs> Carol Highlands. Feline? Feline? No, not feline, no. Cats, not as far away from their wild relatives as dogs are. So even though cats are not feral, we describe them as semi-what? What do you think, gentlemen? Semi... Domesticated. Domestic animals, they are semi-domesticated. That was a tough question, which is why we valued it at 25. Try again, green. Uh, science potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25 points. Teams, inside King Tut's tomb, they found a shard of this material that we think was created 26 million years ago when a red-hot meteor melted the sands in the Libyan desert. They found a piece, a shard of this in the tomb. All right, Magnolia. I gave you all the details. Gold. Not gold. Good try. Carol Highlands, they found a shard of this thought to be created when a red hot meteor melted the sand in the Libyan desert. A piece of glass. A piece of glass. That's how you make glass out of sand. Okay, you're not getting much, uh, very far with these 25 pointers, but it's your choice. Go. Body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points, teams. If you wear dirty contact lenses, you can develop a disease called keratitis, which is an inflammation of this clear dome on your eye. Magnolia. 
cornea? Cornea, that's right. Thank you, Elon, for your assist. Absolutely right. Got yourself 20 more. Go green. What should I do? I'm super ready. Yes, sir. Zupre for 20. Zupre for Zupre 20. Zupre for 20 points is a visual question. Look at the monitor, both teams. You are looking at a viceroy and a monarch butterfly. They look alike, but they are different species. The monarch tastes terrible, so birds don't eat it. The Viceroy is tasty, but birds leave it alone because they think it's a monarch. What M initial strategy is that monarch adopting cream. Carol Highlands. Mimicry. 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 Mimicry, absolutely right. Thank you, Dave and Rehan, for helping your captain out there. Now you're on the board. Now you're cooking. Go. Uh, green things for 10. ten. Green things for 10 points. Teams. This most famous of all seeds is the name of the most successful children's program ever, now celebrating its 45th anniversary on the air. Sesame. Carol, Carol Highlands. Sesame Street? Sesame Street. Sesame is the seed. Thank you, Ray Han. You listened. You got those points. Go, red. Uh, body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points, teams. Ebola is such an awful disease because it breaks down cell membranes and the first thing it destroys in your body is this group of cells that are your body's first line of defense. The immune system. Magnolia. Uh, I would like to pass it off. Elon. Immune cells. Not immune cells. Good try. Your body's first line of defense. These cells first attacked by the Ebola virus, Lorenzo. White blood cells? Yes, sir. White blood cells, the leukocytes. Good. Go. Red. Uh, Body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points first. Check of the score. Carol Highlands, 95. Magnolia, 85. Good game. Body systems for 10 points teams. If you break your radius bone, where will the doctor put the cast? Show me and tell me. You've broken your radius bone. Where is that cast? Magnolia, show me and tell me. The neck. Not the neck. Good try. Carol Highlands, you've broken your radius bone. Where is the cast? Show me. Ankle? No, on your arm. Your radius bone is right here between your elbow and your wrist. No points. Red. Let's get physical for 10. Please choose. Let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, the world's first selfies were done by artists who, looking at these Silver back pieces of glass could see themselves for the first time, Magnolia. I would like Elon. Mirror. The mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall. Yes, they could see themselves. They could paint themselves the first selfie. The buzzer says our first round is over. We have a tie score. Magnolia 95, Carol Highlands 95. We'll be back with round two in just a moment. Don't go away. And welcome back. So happy you've joined us today on Science Bowl. Six outstanding young men playing our game here today. Let's go over and talk to each one of them before we ask any more science questions over Carol Highlands. Lorenzo, nice to have you here today. Tell me about your school. Where is Carol Highlands? Uh, it's in Tacoma Park. Tacoma Park, yes, indeed. I think it's right off New Hampshire Avenue, if I remember correctly. On Hannon Street. Absolutely. And who's your principal? Miss Holden. Wonderful. Out there rooting for you. And I know you have two sponsors. Who are they? Miss Tuzo and Mr. Allen. And they're both out there, and they're anxiously waiting for you to do the, what they know you can do. And we'll bring them out in just a few moments. And you had two alternates on your team. Who are they? Their first names. 
Indy and Claudia. Wonderful. And uh, they are an integral part of this team, and we'll see them in a few moments as well. I always like to ask schools what you like best about going to Carroll Highlands. What's the best thing about Carroll Highlands? Uh, we have Eagle Eggs, where if you soar, it stands for safe, organized, accountable, and respectful. And if you are any of those things, you get Eagle Eggs, and they trust the students to run the school store, where you can buy stuff in the school store using the Eagle Eggs. I think that is great. I guess all of you guys uh, soar with the, the best of the Eagles over there, right? And you're yes. down at that store a lot. And uh, tell me about yourself, Lorenzo. Uh, what do you hope to do someday? Uh, when I'm older, I want to be a lawyer. Yeah, and I was talking to him earlier. I said, do you like to argue? He said, yeah, I do like to argue. And if you win your arguments, you'll probably be a good lawyer. You're doing a nice job here today. You keep it up. David, nice to have you back again. You were here last year, and you're here again today, and you're a responsible young man. You're a safety patrol. I can see your sash over there. Dave, what do you do in your spare time? I like to read, play outside, and play video games. Play video games. And professionally, someday? I would like to be a plastic surgeon. Plastic surgeon. How did you get interested in that? Mm, well, my mom suggested it, and I looked at a couple of videos, and it seemed really interesting to me. Yeah, it makes a big difference in people's lives. You know, cosmetic surgery is something that bothers someone. You can change it. And, of course, after accidents and disease, it can really restore someone's self-confidence. That's a real noble uh, goal there. Thanks, Dave, and uh, good luck to you. Rehan, nice to have you here. You've come up with a couple good answers here. How do you know so much about science? I've been reading books over the weekend. Yeah. My mom forced me to read books. <laughs> she forced you to read. You mean you don't like to read on your own? I do on my favorite topic. She's, I don't really like some sciences. I like green things is my favorite kind, uh -huh. but I don't like the other kind. <laughs> I like you being honest with us here. And you know, we all like to do the stuff we like best. And I, I can get, I get it. But whatever it is your mom did, she did a nice job because you're playing a good game. What do you want to do someday, Rayhan? I want to be a teacher, then I want to be a principal. Principal. I can see you being both of those. Yeah, maybe you can shadow the principal at Carol Highland. She can give you some tips there. Nice to have you here. Magnolia, nice to have you guys with us. Bilal, tell me about Magnolia. You're over there in Lanham, Seabrook area. And who's your principal? Ms. Phyllis Gillins. Wonderful. And the sponsor of your team is the one and only Mr. Allen, who's been bringing us great teams here year after year. He's just a remarkable teacher and has a great voice, too. And uh, I know he's prepared you well for today. Any alternates on your team? Yes, it's Flavine, Justice, yeah. and Arib. Wonderful. We'll bring them out with Mr. Allen in a few moments. And tell me about Magnolia. I've been to Magnolia. I think it's a great school. What do you like about it? It's really fun, and they have a lot of um, uh, activities there. And we have the best teachers, and f um, we have to have, um, and we have the best friends there. Wow, friends. boy! If you, if the teachers really care about you, and if your best friend, that's the best. You can't do any better than that. You're in the, you're the place where you should be. What do you want to do someday, Bilal? I want to be a brain surgeon. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier, and you, like David, want to make a real difference with your life and help people, and uh, you certainly could, could do that, and we need to find out more about the brain. I know you're interested in that as well. You're a good captain. Elon, nice to have you here. I'll ask you what I asked Rayhan. How do you know so much about science? Boy, every question, you're, you're right there. Well, I, um, sometimes I would watch YouTube videos yeah. about science, or I would go on the internet and look up some stuff. Yeah, boy, information is just everywhere today, and uh, it's almost too much sometimes. And you've got to kind of parse out all of your energy and, and where you want your interest. And you like video games. Yes. You'd like to do that? You'd like to be an engineer someday? <laughs> yes. You seem like a very uh, uh, thoughtful young man and disciplined. I can see you doing that. Keep up your good work here today. Obina, nice to have you with us today. Tell us the Obina story. What do you do in your spare time? Well, I play basketball, and I like um design video games on my computer. Yeah, yeah, and you told me you like to just shoot hoops with your with your buddies and maybe on a, a team someday. What do you want to do professionally? Well, I want to be become a famous scientist and invent things like something to carry cancer mm -hmm. and um, and I just want to like 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 invent cars and other things like that. And you know, it, sometimes when you're a kid, you think everything that could be discovered or invented already has been, but that's not the truth. We've just scratched the surface. So uh, hopefully you'll come up with something that everybody wants and needs. All right, let's go back to our game. 95 tied, lots of points to give away. Last correct answer came from the red team. So Lorenzo, let's get back at it. Uh, let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Teams, the sun, the stars, black holes, even comets emit this kind 
kind of radiation that was discovered by William Rentgen and won him a Nobel Prize in physics. What kind of radiation am I talking about? Magnolia. Solar radiation? Not solar radiation. Good try. The sun, the stars, black holes, even comets emit this kind of radiation that was discovered by William Rentgen, got him a Nobel Prize in physics. Nitrogen? X-rays. X-rays. Yes, he's the one who discovered X-rays. Try again. Red. Still tied at 95 all. Green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Teams, your question is as follows. The Food and Drug Administration has not yet signed off on an apple that when cut does not turn brown. That browning process is known by what O initialed term? What O-initial term describes the browning of a cut apple? Magnolia. I would like to pass some chalks. Obina. Ox in, ox, ox in, ox, ox in the daisy. Judges are saying yes, we're not going to make you suffer anymore. Oxidation is what he's trying to say. That's exactly right. Thank you guys for helping him out. All right, go green. Uh, let's get physical for 25. Let's get physical for 25. Big one in that category. Teams, there's a saying that wind blows away the names that are written in sand. But it also blows away names that are carved in granite if given enough time. That process that takes all those names away is known as this. Magnolia. Weathering. Weathering, absolutely right. Or erosion. Well done. 25 points green. Go. Dateline science for 25. Dateline science for 25 points. Teams, many people believe that they are allergic to this antibiotic. The first antibiotic ever discovered by Alexander Fleming when in fact they're not allergic at all. Name this P initialed antibiotic. Magnolia. What do you think, guys? Um, peanuts. Peanuts? No, not peanuts, no. A lot of people are allergic to peanut. I can see, see where your thinking is coming from. What is this P initial antibiotic that a lot of people think they're allergic to and they are not the first ever discovered by Alexander Fleming? Oh, Penicillin. Penicillin. Penicillin is the name of it. Go red. Uh, yes, red, please. Uh, uh, is that correct? Uh, is it the red team? No, because they have an answer. Let's switch this light over here so it says green for me. Thank you. Go Magnolia. Um. Green things for 25. Green things for 25 points is a visual question. Look at the monitor, please. Both teams, listen carefully. This is lichen, a mix of an algae and a fungus, and it is the source of a blue chemical that is used to make this kind of L initial paper that we use in science labs to test whether something is an acid or a base. What are those L initial papers called? Magnolia for 25 points. Oh, Elan. Litmus. Say it again. Litmus. 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 Yes, indeed. That's what we want to hear. The litmus papers. Go green. Um, body system for 25. Body system for 25 points. Right, come on, Carol Highlands. Get back in this game here. You need this one. Listen carefully. There's a commercial on television, The Big Bad Wolf. Can't blow down the little pig's house because he's got COPD, which is Magnolia. You rang in? What did you want to tell me, gentlemen? Nope. Carol Highlands. The wolf says, Carol Highlands, listen to me. The wolf can't blow down the pig's house because he says, I have COPD, chronic obstructive P disease. For 25 points, what does the P stand for? P. Oh, here, I heard that ad. Pulmonary. Pulmonary, referring to the respiratory system, which is why he can't blow down that house. Okay, Green, got a break there. Go. Uh, Dayline science for 20. Dayline science for 20 points. Teams, in England, the 10-pound English note has a picture of this famous scientist next to a hummingbird when he really should be next to a finch because of his studies on evolution. Charles, Magnolia. Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin is on that 10 pound note. You bet he is. All right, they were faster. Got to be faster, Lorenzo. As soon as that guy hits you, you got to push that buzzer or they're going to get it. Go green. Let's get physical for 20. 
Good physical for 20 points seems a multiple choice question in the new animated movie, Big Hero 6. They use maglev discs to fight the bad guys. Are maglev discs faster than the speed of sound, invisible to the naked eye, or floating in midair? Magnolia. Floating in midair. Floating in midair. Maglev. Magnetic levitation. Good. Go. Science potpourri for 20. Potpourri for 20 points. Teams. 20 points. Question is as follows. The kitchenware known as corningware that your mother might cook with can go from the freezer to the oven to the table and never break. The discovery of that was serendipitous, meaning what? Magnolia. What do you want to tell me? Oh, like Elon? Elon? Um, maybe on, like, on, on an accident? Yes, they discovered it by accident. Absolutely right. That's what serendipity means. Nicely done, young man. Go green. Zooprate for 15. Zooprate for 15 points, teams. These reptiles rely on hairy feet and not insurance to safely climb up any surface they want. Magnolia. Gecko. The geckos, that's right. The geico gecko. Good. Green. Uh, uh, Dayline Science for 15. Dayline Science for 15 points, teams. Typhoon Nuri was so big, it pushed a lot of cold air down onto the United States recently, a phenomenon that we have come to call the <laughs> Magnolia. Arctic Polar Blast? Like, oh, like, what's the one? Um, Elon? Polar, um, polar Blast? No. Like, Polar blast, no good try. Carol Highlands, this huge mass of cold air forced on over the United States is popularly known as the polar what? Polar vortex. Vortex? Vortex, absolutely right. Yes, okay, red. Now, you got some work to do. Let's go. Uh, science potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, two books on the New York Times bestseller list are called Grain Brain and Wheat Belly. All about people who are allergic to what protein in wheat? Magnolia. Gluten. Gluten. Yes. Good. Go. Zooprate for 10. Zooprate for 10 points, teams. This creature is shown doing a waggle dance with Usher on TV because it is the mascot of Honey Nut Cheerios. Beef. Magnolia. The bee? The bee, that's right. The bee is dancing with Usher. Honey nut. Good, go. Come on, you got to be a little faster. Come on, Lorenzo. Go, Magnolia. Dateline Science for 10. Again, please. Dateline Science for 10. Dateline Science for 10 points, teams. The White House is holding the first ever contest for White House Christmas tree ornaments that have to be printed on what kind of printer? 3D Magnolia? printer. Magnolia? 3D printer. 3D, 3D printer. Yes, indeed. Go. Science potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10 points, teams. What same word means when an atom moves from one place in a molecule to another and when birds and other creatures go from one environment to another? Migration. Migration, yeah. Good, go. Zooprate for five. Zooprate for five points. Teams, at the National Zoo, they decided that Trixie and Clementine, instead of Pepe Le Pew and Stinky, would be the names of the new skunks. skunks, the new baby skunks. Yeah, Trixie and Clementine, they still stink. OK, go green. <laughs> Dayline science for five. Dayline science for five points. Teams, when that lander went and landed on the comet and its solar panels were kept in the shade, it couldn't send any more tweets because what went dead? Magnolia. The, so the solar panel? No, the, the solar, solar panels didn't go dead. Since the solar panels were in the shade, what went dead, Carol Highlands? Solar energy? The batteries went dead. The batteries went dead. Go green. Four, three, four questions left. Uh, let's get physical for, f for five points. Let's physical for five points. Talking about that lander on the comet, they had harpoons to try to anchor it onto the surface because what force was not found? Magnolia? Friction. Not friction. What force was missing on the comet? Gravity. Gravity, yeah. All right, the buzzer has sounded. It looks like Magnolia has done it. We'll be back with a wrap up in just a moment. Don't go away. How far would you go to help someone? Would you go to the end of your driveway? 
Would you cross a street? Would you cross an ocean? Would you go if you could use your knowledge to teach someone? And in the process, maybe learn something yourself. Life is calling. How far will you go? Peace Corps. And welcome back. What a great game we had here today. We are proud of all six of our young men. They are absolutely terrific and uh, we're sorry to see any of them go. Our final tally today is Carol Highlands 115, Magnolia 290. What a second half you had. Obina and Bilal and Elan, congratulations. And back there, they've got a shadow team. Justice and Areeb and Flavin and the wonderful Mr. Allen. We will see you in the next round. Let's see some smiles over here. You guys did a great job. Rahan, even though your mom forced you to do this, you did a great job today. Lorenzo and David, always good to have you back. Indy and Claudia, Mr. Allen and Ms. Tuzo, thank you for all you did to get this team ready. We loved having you here, and we loved having you. We'll see you next time on another edition of Science Bowl. Bye-bye.